Hey guys, it's Albatium back with another video for Gigantic Rampage Edition and this time we're gonna be discussing the melee DPS assassins and before I even think about asking you to click that like or subscribe button for me, I just ask that you perhaps give me a chance to earn that from you and with that being said, let's get in on this. The first character is going to be Trip. Now this is a pure melee DPS and oh my goodness, this is the absolute powerhouse when it comes to combos. Now we have the lightning strikes, the quick melee attacks, 7 hit strikes twice and buffs damage. Now jumping and dodging also has a kind of a function. We have plasma blades which also apply bleed and uh, this is by throwing the daggers. Electric slide, this is something that is going to be very very useful. Now this now knocks up enemies and uh, just cancels them. Flash dance with delay gains stealth and of course the ultimate move, the blade storm, it just does a bunch of things. On hit performs series of attacks, also stuns and interrupts enemies, on miss just returns to the starting position. And as always, the first thing we're going to be checking out is the effectiveness of the normal attacks. Now this, you know, jumping and attacking, my goodness does this close the distance a lot more than the other characters that are able to do this. Now if you're watching this, look at how fast she is dealing damage to a single target. The next attack, it's going to be the Plasma Blades. Now look at that. Now when you are chucking these, keep on pressing the same button because she throws more than just one blade and this is something that can actually be confusing. Two times to the single target, look at how much damage this has done to a single target and this is a ranged attack. The Electric Slide, phenomenal skill to close the distance very very fast to the single target. Mind you, you can do this uppercut also and just chain it into a flurry of your usual combo attacks. This is absolutely devastating. And the flash dance. Now this is just becoming, you know, very very much a stealthy ninja that she absolutely is and you also get this amazing buff to speed. This is absolutely insane considering the very speed, the basic speed of the character already and just how fast she can dish out the DPS with these two blades. This is absolutely incredible. Talk about a perfect character to be, you know, hit and running as well or taking one single target down and just making a run for it to, well, maybe regroup and then just heal. This is an extreme powerhouse, but mind you, she is a glass cannon. She is very much a single target powerhouse and her special move is no different. This does extreme damage to one single target and it's a good idea to follow up with your combo yet again. And the next character is going to be the Ramsey. He can very well be one of the frontline characters, but I kind of like him as a melee DPS more. His skills are the cut, melee attack combo, which also does bleed, mind you. He also has rush, which is going to be dodging incoming attacks, flurry, series of quick attacks, which uh, kind of makes you move a little bit slower, which is absolutely fine. The juju fruit applies toxin to the blade, next attack applies poison. And his ultimate, the fruit punch, where he drops poison fruits at a nearby area applies poison, reduces vision of enemies and he himself gains stealth. So let's see how effective his normal attacks are and that is actually a very much a considerable crazy amount of damage that is being dished out pretty damn fast. His next skill is going to be Rush. Now this is that famous dodge that I've been uh, talking about and this is something that you can do in any direction as long as you keep the other button pressed that is triggering the skill. Now this skill to me when it comes to the attack it's only useful if you're gonna be dashing through other enemies to avoid damage. It is the only way it's going to actually be doing any type of damage at all but it is very good for maybe repositioning really really fast and just making a run for it because it kind of can be used very defensively as well. Of course, especially if you've been in a kind of a trading of the blows type of situation and the enemy just doesn't want to be following up after you because you yourself are dashing while also doing damage. The next skill up, it's going to be the flurry. Now, you don't actually need to be right up against the target to use this. And uh, it's not really gonna be something that you're gonna be using to deal a lot of DPS to 
you know, the enemies that are around you. And uh, the only use I can think of is kind of breaking the enemy ranks. If you are surrounded or you got there right in the thick of it and uh, checking that might actually make enemies pull apart a little bit, you know, break up the team and uh, make them easy targets for the rest of your own team to just go and hunt them down. The next skill is going to be the juju fruit. Now, how do you actually use this? It's not going to be game breaking the damage that you're actually going to be dishing out with this poison. But if you are trading blows with another player and uh, you think that they might actually be fleeing, but you almost got them. Now, this skill is going to be ideal for just leaving the damage, following them wherever they go and quite possibly take them out. It is pretty much ideal for doing just that. And his ultimate skill, this covers a pretty massive area of effect. So this is going to be extremely useful for not just you, but your allies, because the enemies are going to be losing vision while you also apply poison to them. Taito the Swift. Now, this guy is all about mobility, and this makes him ideal for hit and run tactics. He has Talon, which is your basic attack, Swoop, which is going to be the leap attack at the targeted area, Blade Dance, which uh, kind of buffs the move speed and is very, very useful, and you can kind of cancel this with any other skill. Now, Fang, now this is going to be an attack for enemies at the targeted area, deals armor, ignoring damage, Fang's attacks deal bleed damage as well. Now, his ultimate skill is going to be the Blur, where he rushes forward and applies bleed. So let's check out his basic, basic attack. He is very fast and uh, you know what? That is actually pretty damn amazing. He also has a pretty damn good DPS, which is what you want from a character like this. The Blade Dance. Now, this skill is absolutely amazing. You're going to be seeing just how much this uh, damage does to a single target. But this is meant for crowd control, because you're going to be just mowing down all the enemies that are unfortunate enough to be grouped up right there. And uh, you know what? If you're very smart at uh, the timing of this skill, this can be pretty devastating. The next skill is going to be the swoop. Now this thing on its own doesn't do any damage, not that I have seen, but it's extremely, extremely important. It's pure mobility. It allows you to just get into the thick of it, close the distance really fast, and you might actually surprise a group of enemies that has just retreated. You can deploy other skills like the blade dance and just can be extremely effective. The next skill is going to be the fang. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be sending out the little kitty and uh, this basically functions like Kajir's attack where he teleports right onto the target. Now this, it uh, deals armor ignoring damage and it also deals bleed damage. And uh, to top it off, you just get there so damn fast and deal increased amount of damage. This is simply amazing. If you're hunting down single wounded targets, this I just cannot recommend this enough, honestly. Now, his uh, ultimate skill, it's going to be the blur, and it's one of the skills that goes into a single line. Now, if you can time this just right, you can open up a huge opportunity for you and your team to be collecting the power points. Because did you see the amount of bleed damage that that has done to one target? Now imagine two, or perhaps even three. The next one is Wu. Now, this is a very peculiar character, and we will be getting into that. Now, his skills are Rain of Blows, which is his melee attack, and the thir third hit buffs damage. Splash Kick, Jump High with an Upward Kick, pushes enemies. Downwards Kick at the targeted area as well, if you press again. Crashing Waves, where Wave Projectile followed by Dash Attack. On Wave Hit, cancels enemies. On Dash Hit, buffs damage on cancelled enemies. So that is very, very good. He has a very interesting skill that is a tongue lash, which is basically a grab. It pulls an enemy. And his ultimate attack, the Typhoon's Fury, is going to be, well, a forward dash uppercut. Launches enemies, buffs armor and damage, and on hit, buffs armor and damage buff duration. And of course, the effectiveness of his regular attacks is going to be up first. And uh, look at that. He actually does a pretty crazy amount of damage. This is very, very good. And he's going to be all about comboing this with his other skills. The Splash Kick. Now, this is a very interesting skill, but you have to be very, very careful how you use it. And you need to be very fast as well. If you want to be landing that second hit and you need to aim it because he does not stay in the air for too long. Now, good thing about this skill is also that you can just follow up with your regular attacks and just deal more damage. He actually does a uppercut of his own following that. 
The Tongue Lash. Now this is an extremely useful skill. Now it doesn't do any damage on its own, but imagine plucking one of the enemies and just dragging it into the thick between you and the allies. If you guys are fast enough to react, this means certain death for one of the enemies, and he is going to be out for 10 seconds. This is extremely, extremely useful. It doesn't have the longest reach though, so maybe the mid-range is going to be where it's going to be effective. Now keep in mind, something else, that uh, this guy, after you follow up with a regular attack, any of your other skills, he is going to be using an uppercut that is just very much devastating. And his ultimate stack. Now this is going to be one of those that just go in a straight line, so narrow corridors are absolutely advised. This thing, it's highly effective against a single target. Now look at that damage, look at him go, he is buffed and he is just not slowing down. He is extremely nimble and if you keep linking that into other skills and following up with that uppercut that kinda comes from your melee attacks to his regular ones, this is just lights out for that single target. Next up is going to be Kajir. Now this is one of the two new characters and this guy is the pure assassin. This is the guy who really gets in there, takes a single target out and just get out. His uh, skill info is going to be Slice, which is his melee attack combo, the backstab where you hold a button and just charge attack, second charge, freezes and cancels enemies. He also has the unseen blade where he throws a dagger, on hit it teleports Kajir to the enemy, on healthy enemy hit buffs the damage. Now another skill of his is going to be the smoke bomb, even though there is no smoke, but you basically hold the button and creates a smoke cloud, gains stealth while in smoke and on release dashes forward with two other summoning copies that are also attacking. Now his ultimate skill is going to be the Predator, reveals nearby enemies for Kajir and his enemies, uh, allies, sorry about that, buffs basic attack and uh, of course the damage and also buffs speed. His basic attacks are actually extremely powerful and fast. This is going to be depleting the HP of the enemy so damn fast, it's just so scary. And if you combine this with the backstab, which is his dash attack that also freezes enemies and just follow up with hitting, it's going to be pretty much serious trouble to whoever you are fighting. One thing to say though, if you are charging up the backstab, if you then dash, you know, your regular dash, it cancels up the charging animation. The Unseen Blade. Now this is going to be one of the most uh, useful skills in his arsenal. Not only does it have a pretty crazy range, but also upon hit you just teleport to the next enemy. And uh, if you are targeting enemies that are already weakened and were trying to heal, this is going to be complete lights out for that poor unfortunate player that you just hit. This thing, I say again, the reach is just crazy, absolutely ridiculous. The smoke bomb. Now this is going to be his most truest assassin skill because you kind of call in two copies of yourself that are also dishing out damage and they are gonna be confusing the hell out of the poor player while you also lay on the damage yourself. And his ultimate skill, the predator. Now this you should be kind of very strategic about because you should be combining this with the smoke bomb since this kind of buffs the damage of that said skill. Use this very, very wisely and it's going to be extremely hard to counter or even get away from without losing. And there you have it guys, this is your assassins, the melee DPS guys, and uh, hopefully this is going to be helping you check out the other guys that are really really helpful as well, and uh, let me know in the comments how are you enjoying the game so far, and I will do my best to reply to everyone. Guys, this is Alpetium, hopefully I will see you in the next one, bye bye.